Man, Brian Mullen came out and put out some video that completely debunks the ISS. And I'm going to break it down for you right now because that's a 30 minute video. And I just finished watching it. I mean, look at those likes to dislike ratio. I mean, you'd expect that from a guy who has a degree in engineering. He teaches physics. He can apply to be a teacher of physics. And he's debunking the ISS. So nobody's on there telling him his math is wrong. It's funny. Funny how that works. So we're going to jump right into this, and I'm going to give you a little overview of what he said in this video. Okay. Remember the layers of our atmosphere? Did you forget about those? We got the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and the thermosphere, right? So the stratosphere is a little bit warmer than the troposphere. And then the mesosphere is a little tiny bit cooler than the stratosphere. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, the thermosphere becomes an oven. And it gets really hot. Really hot. So I was wondering, isn't the ISS orbiting around in the thermosphere? For what it seems like 16 years now. It's been orbiting around in this literal oven. So let's see. Let's take a look at this. We have the thermosphere, which starts at 100 kilometers, ends at 600 kilometers, right? That's what your little science textbooks say. And we have the mesosphere which is colder, so those particles are closer together, right? And then the stratosphere is a little bit warmer than the mesosphere, right? That's what the graphic was showing. So now let's put the ISS into the picture. How high is the ISS in the atmosphere? Hmm, 249 miles. Great. Now let's convert that into kilometers, and we get just about 400 kilometers, right? So let's put that in here. So now the ISS is in there. See all that sun? That yellow background is all the sunlight. But for some reason, according to illogical science, the ISS just reflects all of that sun away. I mean, shouldn't that be a red dot? Shouldn't it be receiving the heat? I mean, how can you resist that temperature? What kind of materials is that? I want to know. So let's go back to our little science book, find out exactly how hot this thermosphere is. And it says the solar minimum is 800 degrees Kelvin. And the solar maximum is 1,200 degrees Kelvin. So let's convert that. Find out it's 980 degrees Fahrenheit to 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty hot. The ISS has been orbiting in there for 16 years now? Hmm. <laughs> Some reason, it's... 72 degrees and sunny in the ISS, where they film in colored shirts and long pants. But meanwhile, meanwhile, the temperature is 800 to 1700 degrees outside. Do you know how hot that is? I mean, you set your, your oven to, what is it, 450 to bake cookies? Now let's double that. And then let's triple that. I mean, we could even quadruple that if it gets really hot out here in the thermosphere. I mean, shouldn't Scott Kelly be a honey-baked ham right now? Shouldn't he? 
he was in space for a year in that temperature? I mean, how good is metal as a conductor? You tell me. Metal attracts the heat. It's a great conductor. So, help me understand why this dot doesn't get hot. Is there an invisible force field around it? Because that's your logic. Every particle in the thermosphere is super, super hot. But for some magical reason, the ISS stays perfectly temperatured, even though there's no air conditioning. So obviously, something's not right here. And if you want a more detailed explanation of what I'm talking about, watch Brian Mullins. Balls Out Physics Episode 4, The ISS Satellites in the Thermosphere. And you'll understand it perfectly. So I'm calling BS on the ISS orbiting around in an oven. I'm calling BS on Scott Kelly, who should be a honey-baked ham. 